Uh, I got to say congrats. I know you have a little Luna, little yes. baby girl, beautiful. Yes. Uh, and she, then, she'll be three in April. Three already? Yeah. Oh, man, it happened Time quickly, flies. right? But, dude, I got to talk about your nine-month-old, little Miles. Miles. This baby. Get ready, dude. Get ready to freak out. <laughs> Look at this little baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Come on. Are you joking me? He looks like daddy. He does. He looks like you. He's like a little doll of you. Oh, my gosh. He is so cute, he man. He looks like me as an adult. <laughs> he really does. He looks more like me as an adult than he looks like my baby picture. <laughs> he does, right? <laughs> uh, it's so wild because remember we've been on the show before and people have sent in photos of yes. their babies. Saying All the babies look like me though. Yeah, all of them. But this one really looks. This like This one's really actually mine. Yeah, that's probably yeah. Hopefully that's that's why it looks like you. The most. Uh, Chris, you doing well? Obviously. She's doing great. Uh, you guys went and had dinner with uh, Barack Obama. Yes, we did. We had dinner with him in Oakland the other day. Yeah, and what yeah. was the, what was that for? What was so it? he has his alliance called the My, My Brother's Keeper Alliance, and we support the My Brother's Keeper program, which um, works with boys, um, you know, who come from tough areas and, and need some mentoring and support. It's all part of the Obama Foundation, so we had dinner with them. How fun, how fun is that? It's great. Yeah, what do you guys talk about? What do you do? You Talk about everything. Talk about basketball. Chrissy eventually got to talk about her secret crush on Secret Service Men. She has a crush said, on Secret Service. She now? said if she didn't marry me, she would have married a guy in the Secret Service because she's very, <laughs> she's very into this whole Secret Service, the, the aura, the aura around them. And then the president said Michelle always thinks that the ladies that uh, date or are married to the Secret Service men are better looking than the Secret Service men themselves. So uh -huh. I'm thinking a lot of very good looking women have crushes on Secret Service. <laughs> oh, see? I like how you did that little math. Yeah, very cool, yeah. Uh, I saw this thing pop up uh, the other day. This is a cool thing. Uh, oh, wow. That, my dad kept do you, that. Do you know what I'm talking about? This is yeah. something that you wrote yeah. for a local newspaper. So it was an essay. It was actually for McDonald's, which is kind of crazy. So McDonald's, they had this Black History Month competition. They called it Black History Makers of Tomorrow. And they had high school students write essays that was like, uh, the question was, uh, how are you going to make black history? And um, so I was 15, I wrote the essay, and now I'm like living exactly what I wrote about. Uh, I, I highlighted a, a part that I thought was kind of cool, and I was just wondering if you don't mind maybe just reading it. Okay. I, I had it printed out here. Okay. So, so you could, in I said bigger I, type. I plan to use my social skills and my musical talents to be a positive role model for my fellow African Americans. I envision a successful music career that will allow me to obtain high visibility in the community. This, in turn, will put me in a position of great influence, which I will utilize in order to be an advocate for the advancement of blacks in America. And how, 25 years later. 25 <laughs> years later, well done. That's fantastic. You've actually done it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. My dad showed it to me not too long ago, and I hadn't seen it in, in over a decade. And, uh, it was pretty cool to look back and see that I was, I had my mind in the right place. Because you are, I mean, you do so much. Last time, oh my gosh, you did the Oculus, uh, we were talking about the Oculus Go. Oh, yeah. Dude, I got it, I checked yeah, it out. Yeah, did you watch our VR film? It was amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Dude, wait, what was it called again? It's called The Crow. The Crow, it was so beautiful, yeah. so well done. Congratulations on that. Thank that you, we, we, won a, we won an Annie Award for that. You did, that yes. was so well done. Yeah. I loved it. Thank you, sir. I got, I, I got to finally see it. I go, oh, I had to, this was the first thing I had to look at. I go, this is, is game-changing type of stuff. It's cool. I just look at it around. I go, oh, my gosh. Yeah, man. Uh, and then uh, United Skates. Yeah, so we just uh, produced a documentary that came out on HBO this week. You can get it on HBO Go. And it's about um, black skating rink culture, basically, roller skaters all around the country. And, you know, these people got great moves and all this really, like, exciting culture. A lot of hip-hop um, really was performed in the, in the early days at these skating rinks because that was one of the few places that really allowed uh, rappers to come and perform. Wow. And so you, we have footage of Queen Latifah in the early days, Salt and Peppa, uh, N.W.A., all, all these great artists who, uh, who some of their early gigs were at these skating rinks. And um, a lot of these places are disappearing. And so they wanted to make a documentary to just memorialize these amazing places and hopefully preserve the culture. Ah, good for you for doing yeah. that. Uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.